Dan Henderson was a plus 215 underdog, scored a third round finish over Vanderlei Silva, the axe murderer, who was minus 275 favorite. It started with the left hook. Actually, you know what? I'm, they'll say it started with the left hook. I do think that earlier in the third round, probably like 10 seconds before the final sequence happened, Dan Henderson actually landed a spinning back fist that was flush. And I think Vanderlei kind of backed up and moved away and was shook at that point. But then there was a combination that started with the left hook and then ended with... I'm going to say it was a forearm. Like He's coming across like it's going to be a hook. Misses the hand, lands on the forearm. Yeah, just shallow of sure. the elbow. Because it was elbow, because they weren't supposed to elbow at that point. So that would have been an illegal finish. Just lands with that. I'll tell you what. Nobody puts the coffin nails in like Dan Henderson. It, it's ridiculous. And then that's him winning the Pride 205-pound belt, making him a double champ uh, in that organization. And him being cocky enough to... That first, first double champ being cocky enough to be like, you know what? Maybe I want a third. Maybe I want to go up to heavyweight because he said he can't make welterweight. So, uh, thoughts on this fight, Mike? The finish, the pageantry, just the craziness that was this main event. Well, this is this is the fight that made you uh, just absolutely love, you know, Pride Fighting Championships. Uh, if you love Andre Silva, uh, Dan Henderson, this is this is vintage Dan Henderson. Uh, he's got just this significant final nail in the coffin strike that he goes down to the ground with like he did it to Michael Bisping too kind of it's just it seems to be his move and I swear man he's he's a vicious motherfucker dude he, he's not playing games he does not care if the bell rings he does he you better pull him off he's gonna fuck you up I absolutely love it and uh the left like you said the spinning back fist is what wobbled uh Wandelay in my opinion uh, he definitely uh did not like what happened he started wa- stumbling backwards pretty much immediately after that and uh Dan Henderson knew that he was going to come for him after that and uh, his Dan Henderson's left hook and the power that he held and holds is is absolutely uh just incredible because that left hook just landed dead flush on Wanderlei's chin ended his night and he still laid another nail in the coffin to fucking make sure that he got killed and it's just amazing to see that vintage Dan Henderson but uh, d- don't uh, take any credit away from Vanderlei Silva because he could have won that fight multiple times it's just who has the heart and who has the better cardio and back then when those guys were juicing whoever had the, the most juice seemed like, like they gassed more and uh, that was certainly what this fight of Vanderlei was definitely the one on uh, that Barry Bonds juice and uh Dan Henderson was just a little bit smaller, but still came through with the heart and then won the fight. Honestly, the ground um, game that happened in this fight really kind of surprised me. Um, you ended up with Vanderlei on top for large sections of the first round, and then Dan Henderson for the, the second and third, large portion of the top. And actually, it wasn't until the third round when he was on top that he was actually laying a decent amount of damage while on top. It was more just stalling. Other than that, um, but those straight punch, those straight punches that when Dan finally was off his back and then got Vandalay on his back, those straight punches that Dan lays oh, down, they're, they're vicious. Strong, crazy. He, he does such a great job yeah. of, and actually uh, Shogun earlier in the night did similar. Such a good job of it's like a wild enough shot that it goes over the legs and goes yeah. past any defense and just lands flush. Like I don't know if the guys don't raise their hands to block it because they don't realize it's going to come from that far away, and it just lands. It's it's impressive. Those two, those like I was thinking about the same fight. Uh, Hula did it earlier. It was those two OGs. I've never seen anybody land with such accuracy and devastation through the legs, passing the guard, whatever they're trying to do. What they're trying to land with damage, those two fucking guys are. They know how valuable that position is. I think because they've been there, they just they kind of like chess. You kind of know those positions, you know, or, or you know those uh those moves in chess uh, to be ahead of your partner. And I they that's they just know where to be or where to throw it. They, they, I I guess, but it's just fucking incredible to watch those guys sneak through those uh those strikes between those people's defenses because nowadays it doesn't seem like they land like that very often. Well, I think you had a very good point about uh, with the Bisbing knockout because. Of all of Dan Henderson's finishes, and he, he's had quite a few, this is the one that seemed m- the most like that. Like, knocked him flush, he fell backwards down, like, completely out, even when he hit before he hit the ground, and then finishing up with, like, the f- basically forearm punch to completely take him out. And it's, just, it's so crazy seeing a younger Dan Henderson, because, I mean, you can still tell that he's had, like, a lifetime of wrestling. Like, he's still moving pretty stiff, but nowhere near as bad as he did later. Like, 
like we joked about, like I joked about, Nick Nick Diaz actually throwing a leg kick. Dan Henderson is throwing leg kicks in this fight, which I'm not sure I could tell you the last time that was a thing that I saw. So it's just it, it's crazy to see someone more in the prime of their career before he went full all I do is knock people out mode and have a little bit more varied game and actually was willing to take people down and work the wrestling. It, it was beyond impressive, like even more impressive than I remember. If you like this clip, remember to like, subscribe, and comment. We want to hear from you. Let's roll.